Okay, so the next type of thermodynamic process is an isovolumetric or isochoric process. Now these two terms can be used interchangeably, so sometimes you'll hear it as an isovolumetric process or sometimes an isochoric process. But for the remainder of this lesson, I'm going to call it an isochoric process. So this type of process is where the volume remains constant and the pressure and temperature can vary. So if we look back to our piston example and imagine the walls of this chamber are now very strong and very thick and the piston is locked in place so it can't move. So even if the gas increases in its internal energy and therefore the pressure increases and temperature increases in this system, no work can be done on the surroundings if the piston doesn't move and the walls of the chamber don't deform because work can only be done on the system or by the system if there's some movement involved because remember work done is equal to a force multiplied by a displacement and we need more than just a force acting on an object we also need a displacement for there to be work done. So what does this look like on a PV diagram, a pressure volume diagram? Well again we have pressure on the Y axis and volume on the X axis and we're moving from state A to state B. In state A we have a lower pressure and over time we're moving to state B which you can see from this arrow here we're pointing up to state B. But also notice here that state A and state B have the same volume, only the pressure increases on the PV diagram. But as the pressure increases, the temperature will also increase for an ideal gas. So what does this mean in terms of work done on this system according to our PV diagram here? Well, we know from the isobaric process that work done is equal to the pressure multiplied by the change in volume. In other words, the area under the PV diagram. Well, the area underneath this PV diagram for an isochoric process is zero. There is no area and therefore there is no work done for this type of process. So in this scenario, no work can be done on a gas or by a gas. And this means that the change in internal energy of this system, of this gas here, is dependent only on the transfer of heat in and out of a system. And remember, we can transfer heat into or out of this system in a variety of ways we can have an exothermic reaction within this chamber here. We can also have an endothermic reaction, which cools down the surrounding environment and therefore the gas within the chamber.